And I think when we look at our ancestors, you know, story was so real. And it, this is where I think, again, Western minds struggle because it's completely real, but it's not literal. So mm -hmm. the story details change, but but it's still just as real. So it's this kind of this this kind of practicing people, and then there's people that are very literal with these things. So so it, for instance, in the mythology, someone's died who hasn't even been born, and then someone who's born who hasn't died, and all this is going on. But obviously, we're stepping out of time, and the stories, you know, they're, they're there, they're holding us because they're maps of the other world, they're maps of the inner world, and they inform us of that world. And I think it's, as, as you were saying, that it's so good to step into that and actually be in that story, be in those ancient times or modern times. Um, a brilliant line was um, in, in the story of to Anne McCarroll. So St. Finian of Moval communicates with Tuan McCarroll um, and Tuan McCarroll actually comes to him as a venerable cleric so he comes to him in a form that he can understand and know and um, he says to, to his followers that um, they'll come to you in the morning uh, um, a, a good man a man who will comfort you and he will tell you the stories of islands since the first time it was colonized until today and I love that line until today so these ancient stories are so relevant today. And when we've gone through wars and recently pandemic and so on, you're reading the story and thinking, my goodness, they're talking about what's happening now. Um, and it's really interesting, that spiral. A really interesting character is the Moragina. And again, there's the triple aspect now on Baal 